Welcome to the Whiskey Jug, the only whiskey show on the internet where the camera is propped up on top of several box of comic books. My name is Josh and today we are doing the last class review of the Bastille French Whiskey. Now, I've already reviewed this, link is below as usual, but this is actually not the last of my own personal bottle. I already have all my notes for while I was drinking all the way through for the sake of transparency. This was a, uh, a friend who shall remain nameless. He gave me the last of his bottle and uh, he's gonna rename nameless so that he retains the title of a man of good taste. If you've come across my review of this, the original viewer, or you've been on the side rail, you know I hate this whiskey. I'm, I'm not even kidding, this is the worst whiskey I've ever tasted. I absolutely love it. There are those who disagree, and that's fine. We all have different palates, and just there's so much that plays into your overall palate, it's ridiculous. And so not everybody's gonna like all the same things. For me, this is literally the worst whiskey I've ever tasted. I mean, when it starts out this orange, you know you're in trouble. But let's go ahead and take a sniff. Man. Bubblegum and flat orange soda. I mean, I just, I don't have other words for it. I mean, that's just all it tasted like. It's all it smelled like, it's all it tasted like. When my wife would have friends over, I would pour this for them. They didn't even guess that it was a whiskey, my whiskey friends over the house. I'd pour them a glass, wouldn't tell them what it was, Every single one of them guessed it was some kind of pre-made cocktail, like the, you know, the rock and rye type of thing. Not a single one of them guessed this. It's done in Alembic still. Uh, it's aged in a whole bunch of different kinds of wood that they claim to do, cherry wood and acacia wood and all this crap. So, I mean, they, they go through this horrifically complicated process and it really, to me, seems like it's all for naught. There's just no redeeming value. I don't even want to taste it, but that's what we're here for. Bubblegum and flat orange soda. I mean, I don't get any woody characters out of it. For having been through four different kinds of wood, it just does not come out. There is some cloying sweetness in the back. I mean, it just it tastes like there's artificial flavoring in there. There might not be, I'm not saying that there is, but it really tastes like it's in there. Like it just does not have a natural whiskey flavor to it. The finish is very, ugh, just ugh. Same sweet cloying, gripping awfulness just coats in that flat orange soda and bubble gum, it's just awful. I mean, the only other time I've had that same bubblegum flavor is from the Bren, which is also a French single malt, which they uh, ate, also use uh, Agent French limousine oak and use an Alembic still, just like these guys did. I think that might be a common thread there, that if you use that type of still and then put it into a French limousine oak barrel, you're gonna end up with this bubblegummy flavor. Flat orange soda, I'm guessing is coming from somewhere else in there. But there's even now kind of like a tinny flavor coming through now in the finish. Like, it's like I just took a piece of tin foil and bit on it. It's got that kind of a alkaline, tinny, uh, metallic y tinge to it. Um, yeah, very thin, watery, just kind of a lifeless whiskey. It tastes terrible, smells terrible. I don't even want to bring out the numbers to put up here. It's just like that's just too much effort for this. I'm just, I'm just, I'm over it. I really hate this whiskey. Um, if you get the opportunity to try it, I absolutely recommend you try it though because you don't want to have palate homogenization. You don't want to drink everything that ev only everyone else likes. I'm not saying go out and buy a bottle. Don't waste that much money on it. But if you're at a bar and it comes up and you can like buy a glass for a couple bucks, 
maybe less than 10. Like, hopefully it's less than 10. The bartender's not, like, trying to rip you off because it's French. Yeah, just terrible stuff. I hate it. If you like it, great. Enjoy it. Uh, I'm not going to be drinking it, so there's going to be plenty of it out there for you. And, yeah, that's, that's really it for me. I just... Cheers.